Today, we're going to join people's most intimate health problems that they've been keeping behind closed doors until now. Our next question, it's really private and personal. That's why I'm back here in the procedure room. Let's go inside. Hello, Dr. Spitz. Hey, Travis, how you doing? I don't know. Whenever the gloves are on, you do the oh. elbows. There you go. I'm Dr. Travis. I'm Justin. Justin, how are you? I'm Margaret. Margaret, good to see you. So you two have been trying to have a baby and have yes. been having some difficulty. Yes. You know, Dr. Spitz is here because he is about to perform a testicular exam on Justin, but first we're going to take a look at their story to explain fully why they're here today. We have been married a couple of years and we decided we wanted to start a family. And after about a year and a half with no pregnancy, I consulted my gynecologist about it and she suggested that Justin get tested for male infertility. When he tested me, uh, he couldn't find any sperm. We did decide to go ahead and have in vitro fertilization. He was able to harvest out 12 sperm over a period of three to four months. We were so excited because we felt like this was our one chance to have a baby. But unfortunately, they called and said and I was not pregnant. And that was devastating. I've had kidney stones ever since I was 18 years old. And I'm now 32 and I've had 14 surgeries. I've often wondered if, um, because every time he has an attack, they do a CAT scan. And one doctor even said that's a lot of radiation. My question is, do you think his chronic kidney stone problem has caused the infertility? And is it reversible? Do you think that there is some way that he could get me pregnant? And let's address first, which is the question you asked in the tape piece, kidney stones and whether or not his kidney stones could be related potentially to infertility. Yes, um, it's really unlikely that the kidney stones are related to your infertility, and it's really unlikely that the CAT scans you received have caused your infertility. And so what we do know is that your hormones, your male hormones that are important for your manliness, your sexual response, are all normal. And the question is, well, then what is going on? So I'm going to go ahead and examine you now, all right? Okay. What I'd like you to do is uh, take a deep breath, now hold it and bear down, and then relax. Okay. Um, what I'm noticing is that you have some enlarged veins around your left testicle. That's called a varicocele. Uh, these enlarged veins can be a cause of low sperm production because they can make the testicle too hot. So that might be a target for treatment that might improve your sperm production. But I also saw something else. I saw a scar down in your lower abdomen on the right, and the testicle on that side is smaller. What is that scar from? Uh, I had a um, hernia when I was three years old, and um, one of my testicles did not drop, so they had to do a surgical procedure and put it back in, drop it down. I see. Yeah. So that's called an undescended testicle. And an undescended testicle can also be a cause of severe infertility. 